Telegram introduced a big update 9.0 with a lot of new cool features. In particular, the Telegram team upgraded their reactions, made some of them free, added a brand new emoji status and much more. So now let's have a look at each one of them in detail. Let's get going. On the evening of September 16th, Telegram introduced a fresh update. Generally, this version 9.0 was supposed to be released in August, but due to the twists and turns between Telegram and Apple, when they rejected the release of the previous update 8.9 without any explanation, they had to put back the release of the updates. In the end, version 8.9, which was supposed to be released in July, only appeared in August, and a major update 9.0, dedicated to Telegram's 9th anniversary in August, was released only in the middle of September. And yet it was worth the wait, as Telegram 9.0 will please many users. And first, let's look at the changes that affected the reactions. First of all, reactions, which were previously available only for users with premium subscription, are now completely free for all users. Yes, the lightning bolt, the hot dog and the flaming heart can now be sent to absolutely anyone. Plus, extra reactions like strawberries, champagne, one indecent gesture and more were added to the free set. Users already gave good feedback to this news and I think that this Telegram move was just right. Along with this, the reactions menu was updated too. Let me remind you that if you want to send a reaction, you must click on the message and select one. And by swiping the list to the left or by pressing the arrow, you will open a new panel where the other options will be available too. In addition to this new panel in the fresh version, all frequently used emoticons will be automatically moved to the beginning of the list. And it's worth noting that the updated menu only works in groups and personal chats. Moreover, Telegram 9.0 brought new reaction options for those with premium subscription. They can now react with absolutely any custom emoji, which Telegram introduced in the last update. Let me remind you that absolutely anyone can create a custom emoji and add it to the messenger. By the way, I'm preparing a detailed tutorial on how to do this. So wait for the new video, please. And now back to custom reactions. Just by opening the big reactions panel, the premium subscriber can choose any custom emoji and react with it. And since in this abundance of options, choosing one is a difficult task, in the new version, with the premium subscription for one message, you can choose up to three emoji as a reaction. To do this, simply select the three emoticons you want and they will all appear in order on the message. Besides, with the new version, group admins can control whether custom reactions may be used in their groups. Previously, the admins could only select certain standard reactions. To enable custom emojis, you must first of all be the group admin, then go to the menu, on iOS click on the Change button and on Android on the pencil. Now go to Reactions and select the desired add-on. In order for users to be able to use all emoticons, including custom ones, you must select All Reactions. Here you can also disable reactions in general or select specific ones from the standard list. In addition to reactions, Telegram has presented a brand new feature called Emoji Statuses. Now premium users can add an animated emoji status that's displayed next to their name to quickly let everyone know how they are feeling or what they're doing. This custom status takes the place of your premium badge in the chat list, in your profile and in groups. If you want to set the status, go to settings and select set emoji status or click on the icon above the list of all chats. You can set one of seven standard statuses that change their color to match different Telegram themes or choose from an infinite number of custom emoji. In other words, it's the same kind of upgrade. Any emoji can now become your status. And if you want to turn on a status for a certain period of time, click on the desired icon and just select the time. Emoji statuses will be displayed for everyone in the chat list as well as in groups and user profiles. Personally, I like this innovation very much. Are you working? Display a badge that says you're busy so that people don't bother you for no reason. Are you at a party? Put up an appropriate badge and collaborate with other people for a good time. Give this video a thumbs up if you also like this new one. And we're moving on. Along with version 9.0, Telegram introduced new username links. Prior to version 9.0, there was a t.me link, where the username of a public group, channel or person was placed after a slash. 
The new links now look in the format of username.t.me. Here, the emphasis is on the name. This link, like the old one, will be easy to share with anyone on the web, and clicking it will either redirect you to Telegram immediately or open its web interface. The links are great to use on websites, ad banners, even billboards and other places where they can be placed. Basically, it's now like a personal website that's perfectly readable and reachable. In addition, Telegram 9.0 improved the account sign-in. In particular, users who log out and log back in frequently can now receive login codes through their email address or using sign-in with Apple or sign-in with Google. This feature is not initially available to users, but Telegram will determine how often you sign in to a particular device and then, if necessary, will offer the other ways to sign in later. I also want to point out that the registration by phone is still available, and the previously described options are alternative, more convenient ways to sign in to your account. Plus, signing up or logging into Telegram on iOS is now even more streamlined, with new interfaces and fun animations that are already familiar to our Android users. The Telegram app on Android received a few more additional changes. In the past versions, the Messenger got a Download Manager, which you can open through the Search section by clicking on the Downloads tab or select the icon. Now here Android users can change the order of downloading files, accordingly raising or lowering their priority. The files above will be downloaded first. A similar feature has already been implemented on iOS devices. And new smooth animations have been added for opening, closing and changing media. It became much more pleasant. And besides, those on Android 13 or newer can chew the thematic telegram icon that will automatically match your phone's dark mode settings and accent color. And that's probably it. This update of Pavel Durov's Messenger turned out to be massive and fascinating. I think it's great news that users got even more reactions, especially free ones. Plus, the emoji statuses feature also deserves attention. It should be noted that in version 9.0, Pavel Durov should have introduced the marketplace announced earlier, where users would be able to buy and sell the most popular usernames, stickers, and even channels. But so far, as you can see, we did not get this in the new update, so we'll have to wait for it in the next one. Let me know in the comments what you liked the most about this new update and what you didn't. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel not to miss new information about the coolest messenger on the planet. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe to learn more.